Dunfermline began well by winning the toss against Celtic in the replay of the Scottish Cup final. Close on 90,000 saw Celtic kick off. Celtic and hoop shirts. And what a reputation they have, both in cup and league. On Saturday, Dunfermline achieved the surprise of the football season by holding them to a goalless draw. And when Celtic attacked early on, their fans thought victory this time was certain. But the brilliant Conican saved Athletic. Dunfermline breathed again. Dunfermline were undaunted by the great Celtic, who won the cup so many times they almost think it's their own property. Free kick for Celtic, but nothing gained. The gallant Dunfermline were proving that there was no fluke about that draw on the first encounter. If they couldn't score, neither could Celtic. Escapes galore. No goals at half-time. After the interval, Celtic seemed resolved to end the absurdity, as it appeared to them, of being frustrated by opponents who'd never won the cup. They reckoned without Conican, playing the game of his career, far an occasional uncertainty in the Dunfermline goal. Still, there were times when that goal had a charmed life. The 90,000 began to ask themselves, was it going to be another goalless draw? Nothing could get past Conican. The first goal came in the closing stages, and it was Dunfermline that scored. Centre forward Thompson headed into Celtic net. Celtic attacks came to nothing, and near the end, Dixon scored another for Dunfermline. So Mailer received the trophy. What a triumph. They'd beaten the mighty Celtic at Hampton Park, confounding the profits, and won the cup for the first time.